Do you know the story of a good Samaritan in Gospel of Luke chapter 10 verse 25? Today, I'm going to tell you a story about this good Samaritan. One day, there was a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. But a robber appeared on the way. He was so suffering that he almost lost his breath. But he began to respond calmly. Oh, where are you? Then the robber took off his clothes and began to beat him mercilessly. The robber left the man half dead on the road and ran away. Help me! Help me! I hope he can meet someone before night falls because it gets cold and scary animals appear at night. Around that time, a priest was coming down the road. He's the priest, so he will help this guy, right? Help me. What is this sound? Please help me. Please. Oh. I feel sorry for him, but maybe he's already dead, so nothing I can do. The priest looked around a little like that and just passed by. How can he just walk by looking at a sick man? He's the priest, isn't he? A Levite arrived there. I think he's really gonna help this guy this time. I have a song that Jesus gave me. It was sent from heaven above. <laughs> That sound? I'm scared. If I stay here for long, I might end up like that. Oh, there never was a sweeter melody. This the melody of love. Ah! He was so scared, so the Levite ran away in a hurry. At this rate, this man might really die. Then, what about this guy's kids? What about his wife? Is there really no one who can help this guy? Time went on and eventually the man completely lost his mind. The last hope in the man disappeared. However, soon another person showed up. It was a Samaritan. As soon as the Samaritan saw the man who fell among thieves, he rushed over. Are you okay? Wake up! What should I do? Oh, oh, this will help. The Samaritan had compassion on this man, so he poured his oil and wine into the wound and wrapped it up to help him with all his heart. Then he took him to a nearby inn. <laughs> Excuse me, is there anyone there? Who are you? Oh! The innkeeper was so surprised as soon as he saw them. How did this happen? Uh, first, hurry up and come in. Come on! So the Samaritan moved the man to the room and took care of him. The next day, the Samaritan gave two denarians to the innkeeper. Can you take care of this man? If it costs more money, I will pay it back when I return. Yes, sir. Don't worry about it. Have a safe trip. So, a few days later, the Samaritan left the inn to continue his journey. Everyone, the good Samaritan in this story felt sorry for the man who fell among thieves, so he took him and took care of him to save him from death. This Samaritan represents Jesus. Jesus had compassion on us who deserve to die because of our sins. Therefore, he was crucified for all our sins. Then who's the man who fell among thieves? It is us who have fallen under the great power of sin. Just as a person 
who went to Jericho, Mr. Robert, and dies without doing anything. We are bound to be destroyed by a robber called Sin. No matter how hard we try, we can't get rid of our sins. And no matter how determined we are, we still can't get rid of our sins. That's why Jesus gave the Holy Spirit and His blood for all who were dying from sin, without any need of compensation or condition. Everyone, this is the grace of Jesus. Jesus gave us this great gift because He had compassion on us who were suffering from sin. Therefore, I hope you will live confidently with the belief that you have become righteous through God's grace. Then, let's wrap up today's story here. Thank you for listening and see you next time. 